Accusing police of excessive force after a traffic stop in January quickly escalated into a beating from several officers who are now police under investigation. At people who witnesses say were simply standing with their hands up. In the future, protesters the were the, the only people in the White House. This now viral video of the arrest of Martin Keith Fallen is declaring an unlawful assembly in Richmond, Virginia. This before law set a dump truck on fire on the side of the Happy birthday to you. This has been the most difficult time of my life, but I am so proud of all of you and the way you've managed this situation. And I want to thank you all for your unconditional support. And Frankie, you're the best son a father could ever ask for. And I could not be more proud of you. And I feel honored that you want to join your father in this wild profession of policing. I love you, son. And Abby, sweetie, I know this has been especially hard for you. And I, I see how hard you're trying it. And that gave me more strength to see this through than you could possibly know. We are all here for you. And once Clinton News Network finds something new to complain about, they'll move on. Jack, can we keep it civil? What? I can't just sit here and watch my brother be crucified by keyboard warriors with uh, no understanding of life. I'm sorry, but I have I, to. Don't, don't, don't. What, honey? I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt anything. Honey, it's all right. You're always so worried about offending. Karen, me. let her finish. I want to hear what she has to say. Sorry. I don't want to cause any tension or, or take away from your birthday, Dad. And in no way am I talking about you. I just, I can't sit here silently without offering my opinion. And what opinion is that, darling? First off, my name is Abigail, not Darling. And we youth have a legitimate argument and a valid plea for change. Whoa, where has this Abigail been? All right. Look, darling. Look, she asked you to call her by her name. Uh, Abigail, Abigail, sorry. I know, Miss Abigail, that you are thinking about what's best with the best intentions. But Abby, please, you have no idea what you're talking about. Chuck, you're doing not. No, no, Frank. I'm only trying to- To ignore the glaringly obvious fact that the law enforcement system is archaic and racist. Where did this girl come from? Two semesters in, and she's turning into Rachel Magic. Fucking Christ! Jim, what's going on? He's he's here. Who? What? Him. He. he. No, but he's there. Who's here? What? Jim. He, oh. Look, Jim. Let's go. He, Let's go. Let's go with the other room. Come. Come. It's okay. Your father's just a little upset. I don't think this conversation has helped him much. Jim. 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 What is it, honey? What? I saw him, Karen. I. I saw him. Who? Fucking him! It's not. These, these shitty cops, they, they give him everybody a bad name, and... Okay, he's not. Dad is not, okay? He's... He's my father. Look what they've done to him. They'll jump on anything that makes white people out to be the devil. You need to look strong. I saw him, Karen. No! I saw him! You didn't! 
downstairs for Christ's sake. Both of you. It's the brotherhood mentality. No cop would ever turn on each other, even if they were. While you were scrolling BuzzFeed looking for something to make you look down for the cause, a soul sister, we are keeping the peace. Enforcing law, making decisions. Killing unarmed black men. Not as many as black on black. Don't forget that convenient detail, darling. Jesus Christ, guys. Everyone. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm just very, very tired. Sorry for that conversation you caused some sort of. It's, it's, it's all right, Abby. Please, uh, just, just keep talking. Really, really. I, I'm sure that we could all learn something from you. Have you heard what your daughter's been saying? She's one black square on her Instagram away from saying, all oh, cops. Each of them talk like they know, but they don't. They don't. How could they? Look where we are. Look where you live. You could walk down the street, not think twice about it. You could go to the liquor store, buy some booze, walk back and no one would blink an eye. So why did you need to stop me? Why couldn't you just let me go home? You all talk like you know. Your brother says things like- Not all cops are bad. she'll say- Systemic racism. So what's she doing? What? Going to one march? Reading a few Baldwin essays? No, she's just satisfying herself. They don't seem to get is that this is my life we're talking about. Around this dinner table, celebrating your fucking birthday. This is my life! You're talking about my life! Why did it have to be me? She'll grow up and she'll tell her kids that black people are no different. But what about the other half of the country that still fears us? What did we do? Why, why do you, why do you hate us so? Do you know what you took from me? What you took from my children? <laughs> you turned me into a fucking statistic, man. All of us into statistics. Who was I? Who were we? Brianna Taylor. A Tatiana Jefferson. Who could they have become? George Floyd. Trayvon Martin. Aura Rosser. Botham Jean. Who were they? Philando Castile. Alton Sterling. White privilege. Michelle Cuso. Denisha Fonville. What's my name? Stefan Clark. Yeah. What are our names? Black. Jim. Eric Garner. White. Black. What's my name? Kevin Noman. You were a father of two. You, you, you were a mechanic. You... I, I, I don't know why you ran, but you ran. And you, you, you reached into your, your pocket. I, 
I, I, I was scared.